What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Yinka, that guy. Let's get straight into it. Red flag that I seen a guy is having a mom and even worse, having a sister. Damn! Wow. I don't even, dude, I don't even know what to say. Stuff like that, I'm like, what is even going on, bro? I don't know what to do. Somebody oh. please send help. I'm just so upset. Help, he's, he's the devil, he's the devil. Order. 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 Like, lady, you're at the place that you would get some help, but the judge is the guy that can actually help you. He's the law. <laughs> it's so stupid. This is why I say women grow old, but they never grow up. Like, what in the H-E double <laughs> hockey sticks was that, dude? Come on, bro. Can't even get an entry-level job with two degrees these days. Let's hear it. I've ever felt in my life, I'm literally holding resumes, a stack of them, so that I can go in person to places and say, are you guys hiring? <laughs> It's honestly a little bit embarrassing because I'm literally applying for like minimum wage jobs. Baby girl, those bangs are embarrassing. Shots fired! Shots fired! Let's keep it a buck. T-shirts down below. And some of them are being like, we're not hiring. And it's like, what? This is not what I expected. I graduated college with two degrees in communications and acting. Wait, 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 wait. You graduated college with two degrees, communications and acting. So talking and playing pretend? Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> That's what you got your degree in? I got my degree in talking and like a, a, being an imaginary friend. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> you shouldn't make six figures for talking and, and acting. Unless you're an actor, then go, you know, get it. But honey, it looks like it right now. It looks like she's trying to get a regular schmeg job and she don't even qualify for it. I speak three languages. Oh. That's good. This sucks. Like, mm -hmm. this is real I, world. I just want to be a TikToker if I'm being so for real with you. But I can't be delusional anymore. Like, I literally need to make money. So, I, I, I'm seeing tears. I feel for the girl. She's got to go out there. You got to hunker down. Here's the thing if you feel like you are not compensated fairly, here's the thing life is a mirror, not a window. Everything that happens to you, you've earned. So, I know it sucks, but you get paid a direct correlation of your compensation is the value that you bring to the market. So if you don't bring a lot of value to the market, you don't get paid a lot. And I think that's how it should work. I'm just going to keep trying. That's all you can because do. you have a degree. Well, and good for her. Good for her. But the thing is, she has a degree in talking and playing pretend. Shots fired! Like, Shots fired! What, did, what kind of job did you expect to get? A communications? What is that? It's like, if you're going to go to school for something, make it meaningful. Like, I'm only going to make my kids go to school if they want to be an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, something like that. But, like, you don't need to go to school for communications. Here and talk about something. Wait, wait, let's go back. Is this the desk at detention? Shots fired! Shots fired! Whew, it's impossible to find jobs. I'm going to come on here and talk about something that is really starting to annoy me. So, I applied for a job at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago, and... They denied my application. They couldn't even call me. Maybe it was the goat head with the upside down pentagram. Just a guess. Maybe it was that sickishly looking spider on your neck. Maybe, just maybe, it was the forehead tat and then the eight piercings in the face. Maybe it was the bull nose ring. Maybe it was the dimple piercings. Maybe it was the blacked out arm. Like, you've literally colored your entire arm there. Like, there's no art on that. It's just... But maybe I'm crazy just sent me some automated email so i went in today and i was like so what was the reason i didn't get hired and she was like oh like you just like don't have enough experience there was candidates that had like more experience than you and you know i asked her if it was about my tattoos obviously because i know a lot of places don't like tattoos she said that wasn't the reason I don't Stupid. feel like that's true, but whatever. I'll leave it at that. I'm trying you to know it ain't true. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't think that's true. I mean, maybe they do care. Trust me, they do care. You're talking about working at like TJ Maxx? Yes, they care. Karens and white women go to TJ Maxx. I go with Cass all the time. I have any self-awareness. Like, uh, like uh, we know who goes there. It's two equals four. Agree or disagree? <laughs> I mean, it depends on what the two is. Is it a pregnant mom? Is it two pregnant moms? Because that's more. 
So what? It's, everything is not as no, simple. No, I, I mean Stupid. like math. Just like <laughs> two pencils plus two pencils. Is that what we're talking? Yeah, two. like the number, the, the number, two, the, plus the, the number, number two. two plus the number two. Stupid. I would say for the most part, yes. What do you mean for the most part? Like I said, what? there's some there's some, some variations where, but. The thing is, even that Stupid. is a flawed concept because it's actually that pencil is billions of atoms that are vibrating. Oh. So we've learned, we've come to call it. Imagine going through the mental gymnastic to try to justify that two pencils plus two pencils is billions of atoms, bro. God, this is so dumb. Why even give this the mental fortitude to try to understand this? One pencil, but it's actually however many atoms vibrating on the same frequency to make this appearance, this optical illusion that this is a pencil. The sad thing about this is this. <laughs> she probably really believes that too. <laughs> she probably thought she was cooking. She's like, they call me Gordon Ramsay back home because I was cooking. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Honey, you weren't even boiling. You weren't even boiling water. Let's let's keep it a buck. Think they should teach pride in schools? No. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We don't no. condone that. We don't. How young do you think they should start teaching it? From no. God. Never. Hey. I feel like everybody wants to ignore the fact that sexual activity happens younger than it is. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, it happens I mean, in your twenties. Like when I first. Started experimenting. Like I was like, hey. yes, oh. you're a victim. Mm. Are we just? <laughs> I mean, it's true. To, like what? Just to be, he, he's a boy. That's what he is, and we Based. tell him about Adam and Eve, and we're Christians as and well. And he's gonna be raised up as a normal functioning kid. They're not brainwashing him. Good on these parents. So you know, it's just our values. So you think it should happen? How old? It. I would say like ten years old. Once you hit the double digits, I would say. Here's yeah. my problem with this whole movement of like pride and trans and everything like that. It's like it's really centered around your sexual orientation, and I think it's weird that we're celebrating. Like Jordan Peterson talks about this. Like you're only celebrating a part of your personality that's your sexual orientation. Which to me, that's odd because you don't see like straight pride or. I, I don't know. It's just weird to me. I'm like, really? We're like, celeb like you're just celebrating your sexuality, which to me, if that's how you base your personality, it seems pretty shallow, but that's just me. Uh, introducing the idea that girls can be with girls, guys can be with guys, not explaining how necessarily, but just when you're young at that age, that's saying that you it's okay. Gone are the days. Good when Lord. Well, yeah. What happened to the days if we just taught like what it was and how we actually got here? We've been thriving for thousands hundreds of thousands of years with men and women like why are we trying to mix it up now like we know it works companies are becoming too woke all the hiring for all the new pilots that are coming up this year all the hiring for the new pilots the main focus is going to be diversity Ooh. what well, yeah <laughs> that's a really bad idea diversity not the best pilots you can find <laughs> yeah the ones with the most hours and experience like one person was like, woo! <laughs> and he was like, what? Because it, it, it makes no sense. Competency over diversity. For real. Nope, diversity. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of flying all the time with these white pilots landing safely and on time. <laughs> it's messed up. But it's true. It's sad. And as funny as this is, it's very. I mean, it's real. It's real. I mean, he's he's just keeping it in a buck. You know what I'm saying? So, try and get more money. You can all cry, shout, and do all of this nonsense, but there will always only be two genders, and you can't Goodness change. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Just go, go read a book. You know what I'm saying? Why, why are you outside protesting? I just don't understand it. Either be stuck with a man or a bear. Bear. A bear. Of course they picked the bear. Why did you say bear? I think bears are scarier than men because with men, you know what their intentions are. Bears, you don't. You could easily hide from a bear. I don't know. You're saying you can easily hide from a bear? Yeah. Easily. A bear would hunt you down and eat your big back ass so fast. Shots fired. Shots fired. Are you kidding me? A bear? can climb trees and run like 40 miles an hour. You're done. Okay, but you can't easily hide from a man? They're gonna follow you and they're gonna try and do something with you. And you're saying all men are gonna do that? Yeah. 
Amen. Yeah. The combined IQ of the three women in this video was not more than 80. Ready. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What's going on? Yes, yes, drive, drive. What is going on? Nice set, do it again. Nice set, do it again. What? Stupid. Oh, let's get a second fart in there. <laughs> what is this? Is this a delusion camp? Come on, sign up for delusion camp, ladies. Time, night. What? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> time. Like she was really going for it. She was going for See, the gold. He's like, time. Come, Rebecca, time. <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? I kind of have a problem and I apologize for that, but you did just bring in religion. I'm not religious. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's many people on this campus that don't believe in God. And in my, I'm a facts. I like, that's what I believe in. I believe in facts. Okay. And my fact is, is that when you have a, a baby that's conscious and can think and understand things, mm -hmm. that's, that is when you have a person. Mm. These embryos, or I guess when they reach a certain point, they do start to develop those things and they still have those thoughts and they can develop a sense of where they are, their mother's voice. But before then, so real quick, it's so not... Are you saying if, if a child hasn't had consciousness yet, you can kill them? Is consciousness what makes us valuable? Because if consciousness is what makes us valuable, there are plenty of people who are unconscious in comas and hospitals right now, but I can't go slaughter them, can I? <laughs> who ate her up with her own logic? <laughs> she thought she was cooking too. She really thought she was cooking. That's funny. Why isn't it normal to say happy pride to people the entire month of June, like in real life? Like I'm at work and I say happy pride to- Y'all remember when I was talking about them poisonous frogs? It's always the hair, man. You know what to stay away from. Like this says stay away and we just need to listen. People, because I feel like we should. It's Pride Month. I've only really been saying it to people who I can like, I can tell are in the community and I just get the vibe from that they're in the community. I shouldn't be scared to say it to literally everybody that comes in here. But I said it to one person and as I was handing them the receipt, I was like, you're all set to go, have a happy Pride. And they were like, thank you, you too. It was so sweet. And then I said it to somebody I else. I almost biggity bet you she's a hostess at a restaurant. Shots fired! Shots fired! <sighs> Over the phone, who was scheduling an appointment for like July. And I was like, and if I like don't hear from you before then, have a safe and happy pride. And they say, oh my God, genuinely, thank you so much. Absolutely. Oh my God, thank you. <gasps> oh my God, I just want to like hug them. It made me feel so great, and then it kind of made me sad that we don't just like say it to each other all the time. It's a celebration. Stupid. We should be proud all the time and not Stupid. scared to say happy pride. I should try saying it to everybody and just gauge the different reactions. You can do what you what? want. What? And the whole thing of happy pride is just be, it's just like you're screaming out. It's like, I'm gay or I'm lesbian or trans. Hey, like, okay. okay. It's like... This movement now is like what the vegan movement was five years ago, where, where you meet people. It's like the Joe Rogan, or I don't know who it's Bill. Maybe it's Bill Burr that has the, the joke about it. And he's like, hey, I'm vegan. Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. And you had to know that I was a vegan. Like, we don't care. I don't care what you do, uh, like, with your personal life. That's like me walking up to somebody and being like, I'm heterosexual. I like women. Thank goodness I got that off my chest. Hi, I'm Levi. Like, what What are we? It doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense. Amy. A grown man was washing his hands next to me, which I have little kids, but we have no rights. Who has the rights? I've told you exactly where I stand, and I've told you where I come from. So stand. we have to leave. Yes, the trans doesn't have to leave. That was using the women's bathroom. The man doesn't have to leave who made me uncomfortable. What about women's rights? This is the equality. This is crazy, man. Like, and dude, I, I see this stuff like Planet Fitness. I see these clips all the time on Planet Fitness where like somebody shows up and they're trans, but they get to go to the girl's bathroom. It is so messed up to me. Like protect women at all costs. Like protect women. Like we don't need men going in there, bro. Yeah. Girl, no, white racism does not exist. Yeah. Not even if black people are getting preferential treatment in school admissions? That is just not... I don't... <laughs> Can I ask you what's your political stance? 
Are you a conservative? I'm going to need to turn you into a bigot in my mind as fast as possible. No, I'm a liberal. I'm a left-leaning dim. What are you talking about? I am a conservative, yes. She's like, perfect. <laughs> Is that a problem? Yes. <laughs> Why? Goodbye. All right. Bye. They, they can't even engage in the civil discourse. I absolutely love it. They just get mad and leave. They just rage quit. The, it's rage quitting IRL. <laughs> well, we lost one, you guys, but we're trying. You how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> But hey, he did his best. He did his best. He did his best, bro. This last one, bro. Good lord. Because they always have a certain look. Y'all, I'm sorry, but like I do have to address this because if you have a drink, you're not sober. Y'all, I was not an alcoholic. Um, I was addicted to a canister of okay. And to this day, I still crave them. I want them. Even talking about them. has a face a nightmare could love. Good lord, these are like glasses too, like the upside down. Good man, wow. Um, makes me like salivate. Like I'm not even joking. Um, I want them so bad, and I'll never have them again. Um, Doesn't sound like I can you've have a over drink, it. drink if I want. I am not an alcoholic. I have no problem with alcohol. Um, that is like one of the most ignorant things I think I've ever heard Problem someone say tattoos um, clearly not understanding they don't understand sobriety so i am two months sober off the way but you know what i mean so i'm proud of myself might go have me a white claw now when the tattoo artist tattooed her forehead with a butterfly and saw all the other butterflies he he should have been like maybe you've had enough of like butterflies you know what i'm saying like isn't there a butterfly quota every, every body should have just like 15. I can tell you right wow, now. Wow, dude, I don't even... Like some of these clips, I gotta say, man, my guy put together a solid comp. Let's get to this last clip here. It's a day by Lindsay Harriet. This book is all about welcoming a new baby into the uh, family. this book from all libraries. And not knowing how that baby will identify when they grow up. So we're not going to be assuming their gender. It's really ideal for people who are practicing gender creative parenting and already have one child. And they're trying to sort of explain this concept before the new baby gets here. But it's also useful for any family. Oh, they love to use he or she. Or maybe they'll always be a they. Our new baby gets lots of questions. Like, are you a girl or a boy? What? We aren't sure of their gender yet. And they bring us so much joy. Bro, why are we brainwashing children? Why why is targeting children such a such a big deal? Two things from this video. Number one, Red if you flag that I see like if you are a Gen Z, if you are a younger person, like understand that how much you get paid by a company is going to be based on the value that you can bring to the market. Your competency equals your compensation. So the more you know, the more you can make. So if you're really stuck in a rut right now, sit there and analyze your life and say, what are some things I could learn that would pay me a little bit more? Um, for example, software engineering, get really good at sales, do solar, do something that is merit-based work, right? Oh, if I work really hard, I can do X, right? You know what I'm saying? Like sales is great for that. It's all merit-based. You can sit there and you're control of your own destiny. Sell as much as you want. Usually nobody caps anything. Get into different industries. Insurance, maybe. Maybe you do SaaS. Maybe you do software. Maybe you do consulting. Maybe you sell a coaching program. Maybe, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many different things to sell and so many people on LinkedIn and Indeed hiring. You can get on there and you can find a job. Now, second thing is aesthetic. I talk about this in a lot of other episodes. 75% of somebody's perception of you is the way that you freaking look. So if you look like the desk at detention. Shots fired! Shots fired! Why would anybody take you serious? You look like a seventh grader scribbled all over you. Stop getting tattoos on your face. Stop getting tattoos on your neck, on your ears. Unless you are a music artist and have bags, do not tattoo anything above your collarbones. Keep all this stuff clean because you can at least wear a suit and hide it. Don't tattoo your hands. Don't tattoo your face. It's pretty basic stuff. So it's like Gen Z people want to come in looking like the desk at detention and demand six figures. It's like... No. And then if you don't have any skill sets, like the girl that got a, a degree in communications, bro, what? Talking and acting, pretending? You get paid a direct compensation, and it's a correlation between how much you make and the value that you can provide in that market. You got to understand that. New ebook just dropped Four Pillars of Personality. 
Go cop it today. It's in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys, man. Mad love to everybody. The love is real. I had a good time today. Did you guys have a good time? Let me know in the comments. Peace.